Kenya will join the world in marking the World Environment Day on Monday, 5th of June. But the devastating effects of pollution, especially plastic pollution, still continues to wreak havoc. This is the Indian Ocean, or part of the Indian Ocean, I should say. It covers about 70 million kilometers square and it is the third largest ocean body in the world. We are in Watamu in Kilifi County. The beautiful pristine beaches cover every, almost every single part of this area. But this is not where the problem is. The problem is right in front of me. This is plastic that has been swept up by the tides into this one straight line. And this is the biggest challenge the ocean is currently facing in terms of pollution. And this plastic ends up on your table. We, we drink water, we drink whatever, and then we just throw it. Fish would eat it. Different species in the fish in the, in the ocean, they will eat it. They will digest, it will go through the system, through the immune system, and then this is where the fish, the fishery people will bring the nice fish to you. You will just think that it's a nice fish, but unfortunately, that fish will be poison. That fish will contain derivative of all type of poison which are today well described by scientists as being involved in the development of cancer. More than 2,000 kilograms of plastic is collected from the ocean every week, mostly by volunteer students from madrasas. One has also to take its own responsibility. We have to train our kids from the very young ages on how to litter, not to throw the bottles, not to, not to litter everywhere, but to dispose in a very sound way all the trash that they will have after they have consumed. Well, after work, the volunteers indulge in more getting their mind off the devastating effects of pollution. It's really bad, uh, as you've seen, it's really dirty and the, uh, the rubbish isn't entirely from Kenya, it's from all over. But uh, we're getting a lot of plastics, a lot of plastics, especially now when this weather, cozy weather is here. That's why we're getting a lot of rubbish on the beach. It's not just the fish that are affected by the plastics. Turtles confuse plastic floating in the ocean for jellyfish. When they accidentally eat it, it gets stuck in their gut, causing slow starvation and eventually death. As you can see here, this is the stuff that's actually that we found in the turtles' feces. Uh, this is plastic that's really, really see-through, so it almost looks like jellyfish, which is one of the natural f foods of a hawksbill turtle. This one you can actually see, it's either a candy bar wrapper or from a, a crisps packet. And this is just other types of foreign material that turtles should not be eating. Um, so when turtles eat this sort of thing, their intestinal system blocks and they can actually die from it. A floating turtle is a sign of distress. Water pollution is thought to lead to a disease called fibropapillomas, which is characterized by painful tumors which are cancerous, and it's a very painful disease that kills the sea turtles eventually. If we don't change our mode of consumption, if we don't change the way we behave with the nature, if we don't ensure that we are connected to nature through a clean environment, through a clean nature, by collecting all those trash, all those plastic, in 2015, we will have more plastic in the ocean than fish. This plastic material ends up in a recycling plant where a kilogram of plastic sells at between three shillings to five shillings for water bottles and between six to eight shillings for other types. So as the world marks the environment day, the question is, are you part of the problem or are you part of the solution? Trevor Ombija, NTV.